All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duels, Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays here on the channel, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So, uh, I didn't get any comments saying that there's issues. I think I saw one issue, but I don't know. I don't know. I think it's OBS and it just like dropping games. I'm having troubles with it on live streams, too. I don't know. It's just my computer just being really old. Like, my computer is almost 10 years old at this point, so I really do need to get a new one, but I can't afford a new one right now, so we'll just roll with it for now. Anyway, uh... The way that we did it with OBS wasn't too terrible. It's kind of a pain because for some reason OBS likes to record in a file that I generally don't use, not an MP4 file. I think it's like an AVI file and then I got to convert it to MP4 file and then edit it in Camtasia and then render it, upload it, and, you know, edit it, all that good stuff. So it's a pain, but, uh, you know, it's worth it. It's, it's entertaining you guys. So anyway, we are back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duel. So as you can clearly see by the silhouettes, I believe we're playing as Joey and we're going against, uh, what is that, Rex Raptor, I believe his name, the Dinosaur Duelist. So... Uh, let's just hop into it, so. And then we begin with information about Va Mai, alright. My Valentine sat on the hill, <laughs> having a quiet moment to herself. And, who cares, alright. I don't get it. Trashing hot, <laughs> hot shot duelists is usually as fun <laughs> as a fall clearance sale. I guess that's apparently fun for her. <laughs> Why can't I enjoy it anymore? Girl, it's all because of that obnoxious punk Joey. I can't believe such an amateur beat me. I've got to even, uh, I've got to get even with that grinning gutter punk. Oh, damn. Say it to its face. <laughs> At that moment, Rex Raptor, whom I dueled and defeated on the way to Duelist Kingdom, jumped out and surprised her. It's me, Rex Raptor, the Dial Duelist. I mean, as long as you're not putting down rapids and dropping that Lagia Noka on my ass, then I guess we'll be fine. <laughs> and I'm inching to fi finish the match we started on that boat. <laughs> oh, on the boat. Funny, I thought I already knocked you on your Jurassic butt. Oh, damn. <laughs> Think whatever you want. You're about to get stomped. Yeah, uh, yeah, the puns. I get it. <laughs> you think I'm going to waste another minute with a pre pea brain like you? Aha, uh -huh, I get it, I know. <laughs> Beat it, Donald Breath. Shoo, shoo. Okay, I get it. The puns. Oh, my God. <laughs> Gert Pebren. I haven't uh, be, been a finalist in this year's regional championship. Well, if we know from Yu-Gi-Oh! today, I mean, regionals aren't shit. It's just everybody playing Zodiacs. Top 30 out of 32 would get it, all right? <laughs> and I have you know, I've already won five star chips. <laughs> Might help her brace to show off her star chips. <laughs> Whoa, how'd you get eight chips already? <laughs> from wannabes like you who think... <laughs> that by dueling a chick, they'll score some easy stars. Yeah, you're easy, Ma. You're easy. <laughs> I've only lost once, but once I found that punk <laughs> kid Joey, it's payback. Joey Wheeler, how could you lose to him? <laughs> I'd love to see you try and... Hmm, that gives me an idea. Rex, I'll agree to do you if you do something for me first. Why well, make it sound all seductive? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Maya and Rex searched for Yugi and his friends in hopes of finding Joey. It wasn't long before they did. Uh, this is not what I think it is. <laughs> I, I have a terrible look like this. Uh, how are you, Joseph? You're gonna call me by my government name, all right? Bitch. <laughs> Glad to see me. <laughs> Static. <laughs> so, Joey, is Yugi still fighting all your battles for you? Everyone knows if Yugi wasn't there to hold your hand, you wouldn't beat me. Isn't that right, Yugi? That's not true. <laughs> oh, really? Then I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then I propose he steps out of your shadow here and now. If Joey thinks he's so tough, let's see if he can play for himself. <laughs> Think you have the guts to step up and face the duels I've, ar I've arranged for you? <laughs> I'm dueling on my behalf. Recognize me? <laughs> That's Rex Raptor. <laughs> this twerp, this twerp's supposed to scare me or something? I bet he ain't so tough. <laughs> well, I have mixed like a Brooklyn accent, like a country accent. I'm just doing terrible. <laughs> Don't you remember, Joey? Rex placed second in the regionals. I mean, he got his invite, so... <laughs> well, Joey, you gotta <laughs> ask Mommy's permission or what? Oh, damn. <laughs> this is your big chance to prove yourself. Are you gonna back out? <laughs> Don't worry, sis. I'll make you proud. <laughs> All right, then. It's dino feeding time. Let's duel. Burn it. <laughs> Story back. So, I, am I gonna, just gonna sack with, uh, <laughs> with Time Wizard again? <laughs> GG. <laughs> It's probably just going to be more cavemen Yu-Gi-Oh! facing against dinosaurs. Everybody knows that dinosaurs, that cavemen are going to beat the dinosaurs. So. No, he's going first. Alright, alright. Well, yeah, I, I think I'd rather go second. I keep on forgetting that the rules in place, so I get to draw an additional six card and I get to attack first, you know? So, wow. Alright, sure. So, soul exchange, field spell, 
And he's already getting his... Oh, is that level 4 dinosaur? Don't you do it to me. Don't you do it to me. 1600 array. I don't think I got anything that strong. Uh, 1200 defense, too. Like... Oh, never mind. Uh, I can just sell exchange and then... Uh, battle guard. It's like, what? I can't... What? I can't get that from battle phase. I get this mixed up with uh, Monarch Storm Force. So. Uh, switch attack and defense. It has nothing. Increase the attack and defense while beast and beast warrior. Alright, so, I mean, I will go up to... Wow, I'll go out to a whopping 17. But you know what? Better than nothing. Really better than nothing. Him summoning the 1600 monsters kind of sucks when I have this opening hand. So. Oh, select one monster from opponent. I don't need the details here. Yeah. Alright. Give it your monster. Yes. Get rid of your monster. And summon my Lava Battle Guard. He's a warrior. It's not Beast Warrior, it's just a warrior. Alright, well, I'm in 1750, that's not terrible. But open up with this, like... Aren't these for, like, two different fusions? Because isn't this for the Flame Swordsman, and this is for, like, my Thousand Dragons. So I, I opened up pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well indeed. <laughs> Watch him just, like, Dark Hole or Gekki Mew and see the Kick one Blood. Nope, nope, nope. Looks like we're about to get Cave and Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I got my, uh, club. Oh, wow. I actually do the other one, too. Oh, they really want me to do that. I don't remember if that's how it went down in the show, but... Not bad, not bad, so... I guess I'll just go ahead and summon my uh, legendary swordsman. Next turn, I'll just tribute for my uh, my battle guard, my lava battle guard. I mean, my swamp battle guard and lava battle guard, and they'll both gain more attack and be a lot stronger. Plus the field spell. So like, you're about to get it, boy. You're about to get this battle guard. <laughs> as long as you don't kill my uh, Masaki, the legendary swordsman. But I, I don't know. You're gonna go on the defensive, right? Wow, you don't even have any more monsters, like... Wow, another... Swordsman, sure. Alright, so, let's go ahead and have both of them. I don't think I've ever had a situation where I had both the, uh, battle guards on the field. Like, interesting. Like, they're not searchable? Damn, look at that! 2250 and 2500? Like, oh my god. Rex, bring that ass here, boy! Or into a mirror force. Nope. Damage. Damn. <laughs> A battle guard, though. <laughs> Lava and Swamp. I don't think I... I mean, they're not searchable because they're level 5 warriors. And you just gotta draw into them and they both take a tribute. It's just... It's, it's a pain. It really is. But, I mean... Number generator is situational. Oh, wow. Just a whole bunch of freaking Masakis and Baby Dragons. They really want me to fuse. Like, alright, I get it. But, nope, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> GG. GG Rex. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> All because I had that, uh... Uh, soul exchange. If I didn't have a soul exchange, that would have been some deep shit, so. <laughs> so I guess you won my star chips, yeah. <laughs> Not only did I win your star chips, I won your red eyes too. Why why does he have red eyes? Like, I never understood that. Like, he's a dinosaur duelist, red eyes is a dragon, like. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just skip, skip, yep, skip. Oh. Okay, well, I don't need a deck recipe. I don't need none of this. Like, I get... Okay. Wow, and then you just kick me back out to the main menu. Like, alright. Alright, so... Evil Spirit of the Ring. So we're gonna go against, uh, Bakara next. Uh, what time are we? Only eight minutes? No? No, no, we're dropping frames. Yeah, yeah, we're dropping frames. Awesome. Awesome. So, we're only about eight minutes or so. You know what? Let's go ahead and just do a Bakara. Good two for one. I apologize about the the frame. Like I don't know. It's just like oh, high CPU usage. When usually it's fine. Then all of a sudden it just shoots up and then drops frames. So awesome, awesome. Uh, I need to figure out whatever I do. I need a new computer. I need better. <laughs> I need goodness. <laughs> Later that night, the team settled down for dinner when they were visited by their high school friend Bakura. As they chatted around the campfire, the conversation soon turned to dueling. Let's have a fun duel right now. Not for Star Trips, but for a little fun. Alright. Uh, <laughs> I'm down with that. <laughs> after all the Star Trips, <laughs> after all the Star Trips stuff, it'd be nice to duel with no string attacks. I agree. I think just a regular old duel sounds like a great idea. <laughs> before, before we get started, there's something... I think he has like a British accent. There's something I'd like to share with you. Uh, especially with you, Yugi. <laughs> no, it can't be. A Millennium Item? Yes, <laughs> yes, and the magic of the Millennium Ring will take us into the shallow realm. Like, like, fuck the Star Trek, nigga. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna get even more extreme. Why are you doing this, Pokara? <laughs> you have something I want, and I aim to take it. 
Bakura, possessed by some unknown spirit, used the power of his Millennium Ring to lock away his friend's souls. <laughs> their souls have been locked away, and now, at the wing for countless centuries, the legendary Millennium Puzzle is mine! <laughs> Just as Bakura tried to grab- oh yeah, because he froze everyone, including Yugi. Just as he tried to grab the Millennium Puzzle, it started to glow. Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> the spirit within the puzzle awoke, manifested himself in Yugi. <laughs> no, it can't be! You want my Millennium Puzzle? Then you're gonna have to duel me for it. But if I win, you'll lose my friends and send us all back. <laughs> I agree to your ridiculous terms, Yugi. But <laughs> as I promise you, there is more at stake here than you comprehend. This is one shadow game that you cannot win. All right, sure. <laughs> counter cleaner, pay 500 life points, remove all counters. Wow, oh, like, okay, sure. That's a neg, and I'm paying 500. I hope I'm removing some really good counters. God damn it, I keep losing these paper rock scissors. Like what the hell is this? Alright, great, make me go first. Hopefully I got like something with big booty. Oh, well you know what? I got the summon skull though. Alright, oh, well, I mean I got the plan. Wow, what is this crap right here? What is this? Like, I mean, literally right now I'm just gonna set this monster, set the mirror force, you run into a mirror force, because I need to keep my monster and tribute one for Summon Skull, one tribute 2500, it's not terrible, like Summon Skull used to be the shit, man, I used to love Summon Skull, I mean, I don't mind him now, but it's just like, damn, like one tribute for 2500, like fuck two tributes for, uh, freaking uh, Dark Magician, like fuck that shit, <laughs> I could just do one for Summon Skull, who's just as strong, you know, catch this mirror force. I'll even out. I probably could have got more, but like I said, I want to get my uh, summon skull to filled as quick as possible. Wow, and my flame swordsman too. Yep, yep. Look at that. Look at that. It's like it's like they just want me to draw perfectly in the, you know. So flame swordsman. Flame swordsman. Awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna go super in and now if he also has a mirror force, I'm about to, I'm about to just eat it. Yep, tribute one. Four, summon skull. And you about to catch this catch these hands, my boy. Well, catch the lightning in the fire. Fire and lightning. <laughs> Cause I believe summon skull looks like the lightning, right? I believe. That's been that's been such a long time since you've seen the shell. Alright, well, I'm all out of cards in my hand, so if you hit me with a dark or regeki, I'm just gonna take that elbow card, but knowing you, yeah, you're just gonna go on the defensive. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, now I get Regeki. <laughs> I was like, if you get Regeki, like, nah, how about I get Regeki and I just end this duel? GG. GG? GG, big girl? I got, wow, this was an easy duel. Like, they gave me everything to win. GG. <laughs> These duels are so quick though, but uh, you know what, I don't mind playing Yu-Gi-Oh like this, you know, especially when the game's gonna slow down with that Link summoning. When I have it gonna add that in. <laughs> are you okay, Bakura? <laughs> I am now, thanks to you. Where'd you get the Millennium Ring? My father picked it up in one of his trips. He told me it was from ancient Egypt. He was shopping at Merchant Bazaar when the Millennium Ring caught his eye. Um, see, if you watch the, the Dark Side Dimensions, that's not how that went down, so... I don't know. I don't know. And you were there. You were there when that happened. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's canon anymore. <laughs> the man who filled the ring with my father said it had something to do with door monsters. But it never made any sense to me that the card game is new and the ring is clearly ancient. See, now I would say your, your father is lying to you because he got actually got a tomb, but then you were there. You were there in the movie, unless they changed it around. Like, I don't remember how it went down the show. I watched the movie recently. It wasn't that great, but yeah. All right. <laughs> My father got that. He gave it to me. He said he felt I was destined to have it. No, your father tried to put it on and he got fucked up and then you put it on and then you went all evil Bakara. I forgot the name of Ibakara or whatever his name is, so skip. And uh next we'll be doing panic attack. Alright, so uh I think we're just gonna call it here. So uh like I said I apologize with the issues. I really do, but Hopefully I can get it resolved, hopefully I can get the CPU usage down and figure it out. But, uh, I mean, it says zero frames drop zero, but I know there's some frames drop. I know that it's froze, the screen is frozen, and it says CPU usage too high, so I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this, uh, episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, uh, this way. Uh, I know that, uh, Duel Links is popular, I have a way of recording that, so maybe we can hop over to Duel Links, like I said, uh, we'll do something else once we're done with the Duelist Kingdom arc on this, and we'll always come back to this. 
So hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. And I will see you guys uh, next time. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell for notifications. And uh, yeah, see you guys on Thursday with some more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays. Thanks for watching.